Hey there, this is Kelly from CouponKungFu.com. Just thought I'd record a quick video explaining how I set up my coupon binder. As I've said before, binders are my preferred method for organizing coupons. So this is my binder. Um, it is something that I picked up locally. Uh, you can order yours online if you'd like. Uh, I have a link that will, I'll show below the video that um, with some choices. However, you can also just use something you may have in the house or something you can pick up from a local store like Walmart or um, Big Lots or whatever. Uh, this binder I like because it's zippered. Um, zippered binders will help hold everything in and when you get a lot of coupons you certainly don't want to spill them walking through the stores. One thing I like about this binder is it has a little velcro area in the front here. I keep a couple binder clips. Uh, those are useful if I'm trying to keep up with the coupons that I will and won't be able to use in a store. Um, inside this I keep a few business cards that I've printed for my website couponkungfu.com I use those if I run into another couponer sometime I'll, sometimes I'll give them a card just to tell them about my site keep a highlighter in here usually I keep a pen I don't have a pen right now um, I have a uh, utility knife sometimes it's a little easier for me to use than scissors although I don't know if I'm gonna keep carrying it because now I have a small pair of scissors um, I use the front pouch for my rain checks. That way they're visible and it kind of reminds me that I have them just in case I need to use them. There's also around this area there's another zippered pouch and inside here I keep a small pair of scissors. Um, it's handy just in case you go into a store and they have coupons, new coupons that you need to cut out or whatever. And then uh, that's everything on the outside. Like I mentioned it's zippered and I like that. This binder also has some pockets at the front and I'll, uh, I guess I can go through now what I do with the pockets. The inside pocket, I keep envelopes. Um, the envelopes are where I store the coupons for the individual stores. I've written on both sides, Target. I reuse the envelopes until they get worn out. Um, and then when I find a coupon that I know that I'm going to use at Target, it just goes directly into the envelope instead of going in further into the binder. So when I'm planning my trips, most of the time I just have to verify that I have all my coupons and then I'm good to go. And I can even shop multiple stores um, based on my coupons. Uh, occasionally stores don't really have um, a big selection of clearance items and I'm not likely to um, find something that I need to use a coupon for, so I'll only bring my my coupon or my uh, envelope into the store. I won't bring my whole binder. Other times, like Walgreens, I bring the whole binder just in case. The next, I have a little zippered pouch. Um, I primarily use this zippered pouch for things like restaurant coupons or like here I've got some um, coupons for free milkshakes from Checkers and free drinks. Um, that's also what the first page is for, is for things like that. So that if I'm out running around with my son or whatever, I can stop in and pick up a couple drinks. Um, also, the the short-term um, store deals like this is for a, a free shopping bag from Staples I typically keep the, them in there as a reminder that I need to do them like I know I need to do this tomorrow uh, today or tomorrow pick that up then the next section is a stockpile list it's a list of items with a good price a great price and then a, a definite stockpile price I downloaded this online from another website um, and modified it so I've got a lot of things on there that I purchase and I've taken off some things that I don't, although some of them are still there. It just helps me because something that I don't purchase all the time, um, I'll know at a quick glance whether it's something that's worth stock, stockpiling or not. Then after that I have store coupon policies. I have Walgreens, I have Walmart, I have the new Target policy. Um, I used to have the Publix policy as well. Uh, I've taken it out because I scanned it and put it on the website and I have not put a new copy in. However, they have it at every single store so that's really never been an issue for me. But I probably should put it back. That's what this is for. And then we get into the heart of the binder which is the different sections um, that I have laid out. Now just to be clear, um, some people will do their binders based on with tabs based on the areas in the store and mine is roughly done that way but I don't shop at only one store so I like having having it set up kind of the way my brain works so some of these things won't really make a whole lot of sense to you but what I'd recommend highly recommend is when you set your binder up find what works for you and then 
do what works. Instead of trying to fit your brain around somebody else's thought process, you, you basically shape your binder to your thought processes, which is what I've done. I got paper um, tabs instead of plastic. I also wrote the words initially in pencil instead of Sharpie because I did change them. Um, you know, as time went on, I modified. And I wanted to be able to, to kind of get a good idea of exactly how I was going to use it before I made it permanent, which is what I've done. When these wear out, I will replace them with plastic. Um, so let's get started with the different sections. First one I have is produce. Um, one weird thing about me with produce is I consider obviously coleslaw and pineapple, but I consider things like salad dressing in, as produce, even though it's really with the condiments in the store. Again, that's how my brain works. So that's where I know how, how, how I know where to find things. Next section I have is meat. That would be for meats, obviously. Then cooler. Um, cooler is for things like yogurt and lunch meat and cheese, um, almond milk, creamer, um, anything you find in the, in the cooler section. Um, one last thing I want to show you in this section. I actually made this page. I took a full-size sheet protector, stuck another half of one inside it, um, used a... Uh, vacuum sealer, the sealing part of it, to make some lines in the plastic, then cut out each side so I have some double-sided four-slot pages that I've made for my printable coupons. And I've I just made a couple of those just to see how they would work out uh, to kind of an experiment. So I'll, I may put some more details on the website sometime about that, but just something to try if you're if you're crafty. Okay, so the next section I have is freezer. That's items that would go in the freezer section, obviously. And as you, as you can see, I have nine, nine coupon insert pages. I have some four slot insert pages. I have some that are eight slot. It's just, it varies. Um, next se section is snacks. Again, here's some eight slot pages. I prefer the nine over the eight. I just had the eight from way back when with uh, collectible cards. So snacks, uh, the only thing that's really odd about the snacks is I don't segregate. Um, I have anything from crackers to cookies to ice cream. It all kind of goes in here. Obviously, uh, sometimes I have misfiled, like I see right now. Here is some barbecue sauce that ended up with the snacks. Don't ask me how I did that. Must have been really late at night one night. Um, but I also put, um, like, uh, protein bars in with the snacks because that's just how I think of them. I think of them as a snack item. The next section is drinks. Um, I put all the soft drinks, juice, coffee, anything like that goes in the drink section. The next is cereal. Obviously we know what cereal is. After cereal is baking. For me, baking would be cake mixes, sh sugar, um, sweetener, oil, but I also put tend to put spices in with the baking, um, even even though next section is condiments. Um, I I know peanut butter technically isn't a condiment, but p peanut butter is found with the condiments, so therefore it's with the condiments. Strange, I know. Um, the next section is pasta, soup, and rice. Um, that's pretty much the dry goods that you'd find in the store. And then next is canned food. There aren't too many canned food coupons out in the middle of the summer, but as the fall comes on, um, we'll start seeing more for the fall and the winter. After that is paper. Um, this is going to be a really good example of how weird my brain works. Uh, this would be things like paper towels, toilet paper, etc. But also, if you notice right up here in the corner, I have a coupon for All You Magazine. Um, I didn't know where else to put it. It's paper, so it goes in with the paper. Next, uh, there's household. For me, household is things like um, cleaners and air fresheners, um, Ziploc bags, although they could go in paper, but I typically put them in household. Again, that's just me. Batteries. Um, Next section is laundry. Obviously, that's all the laundry products. 
After that is bugs. I put bug spray, um, bug repellent. I use a lot of bug repellent for camping, so um, that's something that I wanted to make sure that I didn't lose in the mix. Then the next section is soap, um, deodorant, and razors. Um, I, it's a pretty big section. There's no rhyme or reason. Everything's just kind of thrown in one section. I, again, I don't, I don't make a page for each type of item. They're just all here together. Then after that, I have dental. That would be toothpaste, toothbrushes, mouthwash, etc. Then beauty. For me, beauty means shampoo, um, sunscreen, and kind of strangely, um, contact lens stuff. I didn't know where else to put it, so that's where it ended up. I didn't want to put it in meds. So I know where I can find it. I know when I need it and where it's at. Then the next section, of course, is medicines, meds, which makes perfect sense. Uh, that's where I have Band-Aids, too. I keep them in with the meds. And then finally, at the end, I have the sections for the store coupons. I have Target coupons, and I have Publix coupons. And um, Publix will use um, either their coupon or Target or Winn-Dixie. And I do have also Winn-Dixie coupons. I just don't keep carry them around in my binder because they're just not, haven't been that much of a use to me here recently. So anyway, that's the, the bulk of it. I didn't realize too, as I was doing this, that I forgot to cover the other two pouches in the front. So let's flip back and I'll show you those real quick and then we'll wrap the video up. It's pretty long right now. So I showed you in the first pouch I have my envelopes. The second pouch is where I keep my unfiled coupons. Um, I have use a binder clip. I just clip them all together so they don't go falling all over the place. These need to be filed. It doesn't take me very long. I just don't do it all the time. I do it maybe once a week. Um, the way I do it, um, I have these pages. I have them written up by section. I just have it sectioned off. I lay out all of these pages. I go through my stack of coupons once. Usually if I'm cutting um, when the Sunday paper comes, I go ahead and sort them as I cut. And that's when I'll also sort the ones that are in the front of the binder. Um, when I cut them, I stack them, and then I pull from the stack and put them in the, in the binder. So it goes pretty fast. And then, so that's that stored in that section. And then in the front, um, I keep um, miscellaneous items. Sometimes if you go into a store and you pick up a new flyer, that's where I'll put it. But right now, I have some extra inserts. I got quite a few inserts a couple weeks ago, and I have been giving them out to other couponers that I run into. It kind of promotes my site and helps them out. And it's just a friendly gesture to do with couponers. I think we're, we're a community and I need to do, we need to do everything we can to foster that idea instead of compete with each other and be mean spirited and all that. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is I do have some information about how to contact me just in case someone finds my binder. Um, I have my email address, I have my telephone number, and I have the word reward. That's important. And in fact, I would call it critical. Um, most people, if they find the binder, would be willing to return it because it doesn't have cash value to most people. They don't understand that it's money. But to couponers, it is money, so I would like to have it back if I ever happen to lose it. Hopefully that won't happen, but if it does, at least my information is in the front of the binder. If you have any questions about binders in general or if you have ideas about uh, how to use a binder that's something I haven't considered or haven't discussed. Uh, make sure that you leave a comment, uh, couponkungfu.com, and uh, we'll see how your ideas mesh with everybody else's, and if we can come up with something better, that'll be great.